Love is Pacific Love. Today I'm going to show you 20 great hacks with pool noodles. Let's begin. Whenever you get done cleaning the floor, it's always nice to have a squeegee so you can go over and get all the excess water up. Well, let me show you an easy way to make one with a pool noodle. If you get something hard, like this is a garden rake, something that has a nice edge to it, get you a pool noodle, cut it to size, and then you want to cut a little slit in it so you can take your garden rake or whatever you're using and slide it right inside. And now you have a homemade squeegee. If you're ever going on a road trip with your family and your kids are sitting in the back seat, of course, you know, they're going to get tired and start to fall asleep and your head is flopping back and forth and you may be a little concerned with them hurting their neck and where they're sleeping. I got a way to fix that. What you want to do is get one of these, it's either the Monster or Jumbo, whatever you want to call it, of the pool noodles. It's, of course, larger than normal. You want to cut it about 12 inches long and then cut one down the side here, as you see. Then you take our seat belt, you want to slide it over the seat belt, and then you want to get a towel or a blanket or something, and you want to wrap it securely around the pool noodle. And you can put maybe some safety pins or whatever you want in there to hold it nice and secure. So now when you're going down the road, they can easily find that nice little comfy spot. Oh yeah. And they can have a nice little sleep as you drive. If you have any pets, there's always that chance that their stuff is going to somehow find its way up under, well, your sofa, your couch, whatever you have in your house. If you take one of the larger, this is like a jumbo size uh, pool noodle, wedge it up under your couch. Of course, cut it to the size that you would like. You can always paint this any color to match your sofa or whatever you're sticking under. And this way, you don't have to worry about their stuff finding its way under your sofa or couch. If you're trying to learn how to play cards and you're really young and you can't really hold the cards that well, then a great way to help that is you take a pool noodle, cut it about halfway, then you can easily just slide your cards right in there. If you've ever taken kids out fishing, there's always that chance when they go to cast the line that they accidentally throw the pole in. Well, that stinks, and it happened to me once when I was a kid. Fortunately, my dad was a good sport about it, but I did lose out in fishing that day. Now, if you take your fishing pole, and you take about an eight inch piece of pool noodle, this happens to work for my size, and you may need to adjust it a little bit, but then you cut it long ways right there, and you want to slide it right over your pole, and then down here where the grip is, give it a nice push, and it should tighten things up. You can always add some tape. But now, if by chance the kids accidentally throw the pole in the water, this should float, and you can save the day. You ever happen to get a door that's shut by accident, and maybe your animals are stuck, or a kid's stuck, and they're just panicking and going nuts in a room? Got a great way to fix that. You can take a pool noodle, this is only about eight inches long, and you wanna cut it long ways. There's two ways you can actually do this. One, you can put it on the outside of the door. And by doing that, the door will at least not fully shut, not seat on the frame, but it gets very, very close. And I've seen pets and I've seen kids that have both panicked because they thought that almost shut door was actually shut. So. Instead of putting it on the outside, how about we take this same noodle and you put it on the inside, right here next to the frame. And this way, when it accidentally gets shut, as you see there, it bounces right back open. So not only don't, don't worry about it actually getting shut fully, you don't even have to worry about it getting shut partially. It's a great way to keep your doors open. If you've ever tried to transport something in your car that was, well, too big, sometimes you have to put it on the roof. Well, to do that, now you have to take some string and you have to strap it to your car. The only downside of that, depending on how far you have to drive, the string can now chafe on your paint. And at the very least, it's gonna scuff it a little bit or even possibly eat through the paint all the way to the metal, depending on, well, how far you're driving, how tight you tie it. Here's a great way to help fix that. Now before you get the rope fully tight, 
you need to take a pool noodle and put the rope right through it. And that way, the rope and the, the uh, pool noodle will now conform to the shape of your car. So that as you pull it tighter and tighter, the rope is in this pool noodle will now stretch over. And that way, you don't have to worry about the rope eating into your paint. I know some of you are romantic and you like these little, little fake candles to set the mood for your significant other. Well here's a great way you can use these at the pool or even in your tub if it's big enough. If you get a very small piece of a pool noodle and you want to trace the outside bottom edge of these candles. And then take a knife and very carefully cut just to the inside of that line so that you can see here it's a nice snug fit. Then take some saran wrap or some kind of thin plastic. You want to carefully put it around it and then carefully insert it into your pool noodle. And you can always go back and trim this if necessary or you can leave it for that matter. It's up to you. Then you can take it and now you can drop it in the water. Whether it's your pool or whether it's your tub, that's a great way you can set a romantic mood. If you have a child and they're going from their crib to an actual sized bed, there's always that chance of them rolling out of bed and hitting the floor. I remember doing that many times as a child, and here's a great way to help prevent that. You take one of the large jumbo sized pool noodles, and you pull up the covers, and you want to shove the pool noodles underneath the edge of the bed here. And you take all the covers and you want to make sure they're nice and tight as possible up under the mattress. And now as the child is rolling around in the bed, they're going to run into this pool noodle and be much less likely to actually fall out. If you have a child that's learning how to spell, here's a great way to teach them. If you take a pool noodle and you cut them into about two inch sections, then cut a slit in the back, and now they fit nicely over your bookshelves. By doing that, you can then put letters on each of these and they can mix and match and make whatever words they can find. I recently saw several vehicles that did something very unique to help protect their bumper. Now, of course, this is more for, say, New York City or uh, somewhere along those lines that have a lot of traffic and you have a lot of parallel parking because, you know, some people don't know how to parallel park and some people who just don't care and they'll hit your car and go. So here's a little tip that I've seen. Inside their trunk, they have prepared one of the larger pool noodles, and it just has a string that goes in that holds it against their bumper. They close their trunk, and that way, you can easily for help protect their bumper, and then whenever they're about to leave, they can just walk back, open their trunk, throw it in. There's less likely for people to whack their bumper. If you've ever tried to ride your bike on the road, sometimes they'll get almost run over by cars because they pass you way too close. Well, here's a great way to fix that. If you take a pool noodle and you strap it to the back of your bike with one side coming way out, the side that the cars will be passing on, and now it'll give the cars an idea of how far they actually need to go around you without hitting you. If you have one of these five gallon buckets that you carry stuff around in, maybe around your house or at work, they come with these little small handles that, well, if you try and carry them for any length of time, it'll start to dig into your hand and just hurt, or sometimes these will even crack and cut you. So, if you take a pool noodle, this happens to be about four inches long, cut it long ways, slide it over, you can even tape it if you choose, and now it conforms right to your hand real nicely, and you can easily carry that around without it hurting your hand. Here's a great idea for your fishermen out there. This is just some pool noodle and it's wrapped over. It would happen to be some half inch PVC pipe. You can use anything you want. It doesn't have to be PVC, but that seems to work pretty well in this case. Then I took an old wire hanger and I took it and looped it on both ends. And this way you can have one end tethered to your boat or to your dock and then the other end with some heavy duty fishing line, some bait and a hook of course. And that way you can just let it sit out there and just periodically check it. And then when you see it jump up, then you know you got something on the line. It's a great and simple way to go fishing. Now pool noodles can make great furniture. Now I've gathered together a bunch of pool noodles all about the same size. They don't have to be perfect because of course they give and take. 
Now this can make a great seat for kids. You can make a great little uh, ottoman for you can put your feet on. Now this is a great little idea. It's very simple. I just cut them about the same size. I'm using a plastic bag to keep them in shape. I actually have a rubber band right in there to keep them together even better. And you want to put stretch a bag over top, put it on both sides, and that way it's pretty secure. Also, if you feel a little wild, you can put some glue and glue all these together, and that way they'll stay permanently together. Ooh, that's comfortable. Moves around a little bit, but heck, that's fun to play with. Kids are gonna love this. If you ever on your knees doing a bunch of work and sit there for a while and your knees start to hurt, a real simple and easy way to solve that is to grab a pool noodle. It's actually quite soft, feels good on the knees, has a little bounce to it so you don't have to worry about your knees getting sore in just that one spot. You can sit there for a while and actually feels quite comfortable. That's a great way to use your pool noodle to save your knees. If you're having a family get together and by chance they have kids, these sharp edges on this table, well, that can cause an injury. But if you take a pool noodle and you wanna cut it long ways, and you take it and you can slowly wrap it around the table, and that will help prevent any injuries. Storing your extension cords can, well, sometimes be a challenge because you let go and they just expand and get everywhere. That is, unless you have a pool noodle. This is about eight inches long and you want to cut it lengthwise and just carefully stuff your core down in it. And there you go, you can even leave the ends out here so you know exactly what it is. But this way, you can put it in a drawer or wherever you need to, and it's easy storage and stays nice and collected. You ever trying to get ready for that special event and you find out your dress pants, they've been sitting on the hanger for so long, now they have a nice crease that goes right across the leg. I got a great way to fix that. Now if you take a pool noodle and you put it across the bottom of the hanger, now your pants can lay across there with a nice large curve and it won't create that crease on the leg there. Also, being that it's a pool noodle, it's easy to pull them right on off. Depending on how your house is designed, there's a good chance you're gonna have some doors with some air gaps underneath. Well, that's gonna let heat and cooling go out and under that door and require your HVAC or whatever you're using to work even harder and use more electricity. Now, they do have these door sweeps that you can put on the doors, but a lot of times the doors and the floors are not level and it can easily rip these off the door and it's not very efficient. I got a great way to fix that. Now here's another door with the same problem. In this case, I'm using a pool noodle and some old jeans that I cut a leg off. Now I slid the jeans under the door and then I slid the pool noodles inside and that way it creates a nice sealed little area so that no air can escape. Now this is how the pool noodles look on both sides of the door. Now this is the pants leg, it is quite snug, you want to keep it that way so the pool noodles stay close to the door. Now the one on the inside of the door, the one that touches the door frame, is going to be slightly shorter than the one on the outside just because you need the door to actually shut and seal itself. But as long as everything stays nice and tight and everything stays sealed, it's a great way to cut down on your costs. If you enjoyed these hacks, make sure you click the like button, tell us what you think about it in the comments. We put a video out every week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Have fun building.